Hello everyone, welcome to Master to Teach Step by Step Guide. Introduction to Requirements in Engineering Suppose that you are working as a software engineer in a reputed IT company. A new software development project has been assigned to you. As a software engineer, from where do you start? Of course, we need requirements to start the project. The requirement collection job is one of the crucial tasks of software development. So, it needs to be collected very carefully. It is one of the major phases of software development lifecycle. This phase determines the level of risk in the project as well. So, why? We have to do engineering in project requirements. In this video, we will learn what is requirements engineering in detail. One of the challenging jobs for the software engineer is to understand the project requirements from the client's point of view. So, it helps software engineers to understand the problem that needs to solve in the project. It is vitally important to understand the project requirements and the client's needs. It helps to ensure that the requirement collected, analyzed, specified are correctly done because all project requirements are reviewed with the customer and end user to ensure that what as a software engineer or analyst have learned is what they want. Requirements in engineer can be viewed as a bridge to design and development. Usually, requirements engineer is done by the software engineer or system analysis and other project stakeholders like managers, customers, end users, etc. What are the steps involved in requirements engineering? Let's dive into its steps. The steps involved in requirements engineering are number one, inceptions, where the project scope and nature of the project are defined. We will study each step one by one in details later on. The second step is elicitations, where it helps the customer to define what is required. The third step is elaborations, where basic requirements are defined and explained. Then negotiations, where conflicting requirements are resolved. The question like, what are the priorities, what is essential, when it is required, etc. are answered in this step. Moving further, the second last step of requirements engineering is specification. The requirements are specified in a some manner, for example, like written documents, a set of graphical models, a prototype, or any combination of these. And the last but not the least step is validation. The work product are assessed for quality to assure that requirements are unambiguous, complete, consistent, etc. These are the steps involved in requirements engineering. Inceptions, elicitations, elaborations, negotiations, specifications, and validations. Some important questions. What is requirements engineering? Or write short notes on requirements engineering. How requirements engineering is related with risks of the project? Justify. List out the steps involved in requirements engineering. What is requirements engineering? List out its steps and explain briefly. I hope you learned from this video tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. Check us out for more in IT tutorial and guide on website master2teach.com and we will see you again soon. Bye.